Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and we are back with another Incredibles tutorials. So we have already done tutorials on Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, and now we are going to draw Violet. And if you haven't tried those already, I'll make sure that they're in the playlist at the end of the video or right here. That way you can go ahead and check those out if you want to draw them. What I'd like to do first is go ahead and lay out everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is another three quarter turn and her head is a little bit more normal size compared to Mrs. Incredible and Mr. Incredible. They're just abnormal looking features. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide the face down the middle and then of course I'm gonna give that eye line and then I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out her body so that we just have everything mapped out so this is her neck and then we're gonna go ahead and bring out one shoulder over here and she has tiny shoulders she is a teenager so she is tiny so we've got really tiny arms jump over here make another arm going out this way and I'm just gonna go ahead and make that as skinny as her arm is over here and then I'm gonna jump over here bring out her chest and she's super duper skinny so we're make we're gonna go out this way and then in and then from here we're gonna go underneath this part of her of her arm go down And stop right there then what I'd like to do is go ahead and bring in this arm so we round it up out bring this down and then her fist is on her hip and then this arm is gonna go underneath bring this one up That, sh that bit of an elbow point. Bring out this part of her hand and then this part of her hand. So what we're gonna do first is start with her face. Once again, she is in her superhero costume, so she's got her black mask around her eye. So we're gonna make one eye over here, round it down on that eye line, and then we're gonna make another eye over here. And round it up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just make her nose. Now she does have a little bit of a weird looking nose, but it's okay, it's a little bit wide. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to the middle part of her mask and said it's a three quarter turn once again. So I'm gonna go up, bring it around, go to that middle part where her nose ridge is. Bring this up and over. Then I'm going to go underneath, right here underneath her lips, I'm going to go ahead and just give her her smile, so I'm going to bring this up and over, give her a little bit of a dimple, and a little bit one over here, and then I'm going to go into the middle and give her more of a defined look to her lips by giving that dip right here. And then she has a really thin one underneath. It's not as full as her upper lip though. Well, we have that dimple and this part goes up in this side just to resemble the dimple on the other side. Let's go ahead and jump back up to her eyes and fill in her pupil iris area. So we have one pupil right here and then one over here. So we just go to the corner of this one and draw this area right here and right there. And then this part of her mask. Actually bring up this a little bit more. There we go. That looks better. And get a little bit of a line right here and a little line right here. Just, just got a little bit of attitude going on. We can't see 
Like we can't see eyebrows, but we can define the mask a little bit to give it that impression. So we can like morph this a little bit here and here to give it the look like she's got, like she's just making a little bit of a mean face. But it's kind of cool because she's got her like electricity orb or whatever. All right, for her nose, you're gonna go up. Oh, we're gonna make a little indention here and a little indention here. And then we're going to make that line up the top and we have this side and we're just gonna shade above that line we just made. Gonna shade lightly at the bottom of here as well. All right, now let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and shape up her face just a little bit more. Bring down the side of her forehead just a little bit more. We're gonna bring in the side of her mask and then go outwards with her cheek to so make that nice and fluid line. Bring this down into her chin. Still want to keep the roundness of her face, just bring up this side of her chin just a little bit more. And then she's got her ear over here. And we got an indention right here, and then a little piece of her earlobe there. Alright, now let's go ahead and do her hair. Now her part is all the way off to the side over here and it's put back into a headband. So we're going to bring this part of her hair. It's going to sweep across the top of her mask on the left side. And then we're going to go ahead and bring down this side of her hair. So it's going to go down, out, and in. Then this part is going to go down and connect to here. And then we have a little bit of a section going out to the side over here. And then we're gonna go straight down into her shoulders. And as well on this side of her head, you're gonna go and bring down this side of her shoulders as well. So we have this side going down and then this side going down. So her hair is gonna go, I'm gonna just draw through her, her actual arm. And I'm gonna draw through her stomach and connect to the other side because it is all one length. I mean, it's all the same length, basically. Jump back up to her hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make that headband going back behind her ear and then right there as well. And there's her headband. And then here's her sections of her hair. And I can go ahead and erase this. And then she has just a little bit of a section right here going alongside of her ear. And in her hair, it's like this section of her hair is going this way and then this is going this way. And then her hair will be down behind her. Oh, I almost forgot to fill in her iris pupil areas. I'm gonna put a shine here and a shine there pupil and then a pupil and the thing about her eyes is they are purple figures because her name is violet Alrighty, for her costume so i'm gonna go underneath her neck and we have a little bit of a section we can't see and then we have the black section right there and then the black section is actually gonna go down and up for the rest of her neck and then we're gonna go ahead and start with the eye on her chest it's really tiny so we have an eye here and then we have the bottom part to that eye and it's off to the sides because this is a quarter turn so we're gonna go out this way and connect and then we're gonna go to the bottom and we can barely see the other side so we gonna make sure this one here and then this one is here okay now we're gonna go ahead and just piece this together I'm gonna define her shoulder a little bit more define this side and then there's a crease in her arm Same as over here, I'm gonna define this a little bit more, bring this in, go out and back in. And then this is straight at the bottom. And then I'm gonna bring this crease right here. And then let's start with her gloves over here first. So it's gonna go out 
back in. So this is the black part of her uniform and her gloves and her fist is on her hip. We curve it in. This is really easy because we're just gonna curve it in and all we see is her pinky right here. That's all we see. And then we have her utility belt right here or whatever the part of the belt of her costume is and then her superhero underwear is gonna start here and then go this way up. And we're just gonna bring down her hips. Then over here, we're gonna go ahead and bring down this part of her glove. And now we have to make a hand. <laughs> so we're gonna make this part, bring it up. All right, and then we have to make the palm of her hand because it's gonna be cool because we're gonna make one of her bubbles right here. So we're gonna go bring this out, bring this out. We're gonna start with the pointer finger jump back into her hand, and then her middle finger, jump back into her hand, ring finger, and then jump back into her hand and make the pinky finger. Define these a little bit more. Then we're gonna go back into her thumb Bring this out, then back into her hand, and define her pointer finger just a little bit more because we want this to be out like she's holding out her hand, her palm. And then we're going to go ahead and define right here, and then define this part of her hand. her wrist a little bit more skinnier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just make this bubble floating right above her hand. And you could go crazy with this. You can make it like a little bit of electricity going on inside. Or you can make it purple. And there you guys go. There's a fun, fast way to draw Violet from The Incredibles. If you haven't already, check out my Mr. and Mrs. Incredible tutorials. Let's do Dash next week and then follow it up with Jack Jack and then let's do Frozone, Frozone or Edna Mode. We're gonna go all the way till June 16th till Incredibles 2 comes out. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye.